It's Dundas's prodigal son returned home to downtown Dundas, his old stomping ground, the place of his birth, underneath these beautiful blue autumn skies, cast below this gorgeous fall escarpment, this Dundas escarpment, the thing that gives this town its name, Valley Town, right here at 2 30 Melville Street. Oh my gosh, guys, the nicest three bedroom, one living bungalow you've seen in a really long time. It's got the kitchen, it's got the flow into the living room, the fireplace, the feels. The cameraman just said to me, I feel like I'm in some incredible restaurant right now. And I said, No, Cho Sang. You're in one heck of a house downtown Dundas. But enough about me and Cho Sang's discussion. Let's get inside and show you this house. Coming into our side entrance foyer, guys, the quaint feel of the side entrance. There's two of them here at 230 Melville. Walking into this foyer, we got beautiful laminate floors, really nice on the eyes, but also really easy to maintain and clean up. Big space in here, you can get a stroller in here, lots of room to store your coats and hats, do some hooks. We got a coat hack over here to my right. And what you'll notice is this floor to ceiling wainscoting detail. This type of trim work and built-in cabinetry is gonna be prevalent throughout this house, making it extra special. Every last inch being utilized. I love this house, guys, and we haven't even stepped past the foyer. To my right, a large bedroom, and to my left, another large bedroom. But I wanna take you into the heart of this property before I start to show you these bedrooms. So let's get started. Oh, little built-in nook right here. Coming in to the most gorgeous main living space I've seen in a long time. And there's something so warm and cozy about this, so encapsulating of the human heart. And you're gonna feel that the second you've walked in. I've had three friends through this property today and everyone said the same thing. I do not want to leave. And this is exactly why, guys. Feel the workability of this kitchen, the quaintness. It's got that cottage lakeside feel. It's got that downtown Dundas feel, and yet it all feels modern and upscale. You're gonna get these quartz countertops with your undermount sink. You've got your modern appliances, built-in cooktop over here. Tons of storage up and down, all beautifully and wonderfully displayed with character. Love seeing that. Big white fridge. I love a white fridge and a white kitchen, guys. I'm not crazy about dark stainless steel just for the sake of stainless steel. Stainless steel is meant for a kitchen and for cleaning, and this certainly cleans well and also disappears in this beautiful, bright, white, airy kitchen. You'll see more storage, everything being used, floor to ceiling here, and then even more in this kind of secret pantry. Open shelves underneath, we'll get an insert of that, but just more counter space, tons of kitchen here, and not such a big space, but definitely feeling much bigger than it is, and you're gonna love it when you come in. It's the perfect size. This whole thing flows over here into our massive living room space, guys, and this is the showstopper of this property is this flow between the kitchen and the living room. Now we have this massive space, but combined, and the division here is perfect. This open concept feel where you have the depth and the texture provided by that kitchen, making it almost feel like a film set, but here, that perfect division, this all feels to be its own space. If this was a restaurant, you'd be saying, oh, can we have the living room table? That's the most special room. You'd come there on your biggest birthdays and on your most important occasions. And of course, guys, look at the taste, look at the class of this room. Two big, beautiful picture windows here. Tons of room across there for our bar cart and our side table, and this white kind of painted out feel fireplace, but not painted out. Yes, we got a painted mandel, but we have this white marble up and down stone, and it's just all kind of disappearing, but creating texture. So it's not heavy, you're not feeling it imposing on the space, it's only complementing and adding to that space. And of course, we have this river stone gas fireplace burning up and giving me that beautiful radiant heat right now. This thing will keep this whole place warm and toasty. Of course, you don't need it because we have a newer forced air system in this home. That's right, guys. All of those classic upgrades that you want in a downtown Dundas home, you're getting it here at 230 Melville. Coming across here, we get another window. That's three windows bringing in cross light into the space. It's the afternoon right now, it's fall, and you can still see how nice and bright this space is. Here, one, two, three stools with a little ledge to sit here 
Have a glass of wine and a catch up with your best friend as they make you dinner or as you prepare for a function together. Guys, this space just speaks volumes to me and I know you can tell just from this little video how important and special it is. You're gonna wanna come down and feel it for yourself. Speaking of the feels, let's go over to this dining room that's kind of dressed for a winter solstice dinner. I want to show it. That's the season that's coming and this is exactly how I want you to use this dining space. Now check out this dining room guys. Again, that perfect connection of space to the kitchen, making it feel open concept, like a loft or a condo, but yet the perfect amount of division. You cannot mistake that this indeed is the dining room and meant to be the dining room. We got this gorgeous light fixture and of course there's tons of space in here for a six or eight seater table, surrounded by windows, allowing you to feel that you're actually immersed in this beautiful garden that surrounds this property. And this really is a special yard. I know you saw the shots coming into this video, just kind of displaying the landscaping, displaying all the work that's been put into this property, but you really feel it even when you're inside this house because it's an extension of this interior living space, just like this outdoor space flows inside to this space, complementing each other perfectly. Guys, this is where you wanna have those family dinners. This is where you wanna have those long conversations and maybe a few too many glasses of wine. Mwah! Love this separate entrance here to my left that goes out to the side yard and we'll go out there a little bit later. Some pot lights in here, just the perfect ceiling height. Again, feeling like a bistro or a restaurant, having a really classy feel throughout this home. Just the perfect amount of everything in the perfect way displayed perfectly. Perfect is the word of the day that I will be using. Back through our perfect kitchen. Oh, looking onto our perfect living room. About to enter our perfect principal bedroom for two partners in crime with its own sliding and locking barn door. Love this feature. I don't mean locking, it has a slow stop on it, just a really nice feature, allowing it to feel heavy and yet all this quality of when it closes and opens and shut. That's rare. What I can tell you is we go through this property, we have two incredible artists who have owned this property for quite some time and they take care of it like it's a piece of art. Everything is always perfectly upkept and all the right amount of attention on all the right things. Check out this principle. Coming into our beautiful principal bedroom, guys. I love the broad loom in here. It's the only room in the house that has that carpet and it just feels so good on the feet, so warm and comforting to have that. We know carpets make a house. What do we have in here? Tons of room for two side tables, a king size bed, and a massive built-in that runs across here. These are higher end Ikea with all the dressings in there. When you look inside, you'll see it's got the pull out, it's got the hangy stuff, it's got the little spot for your jewelry. Really well thought out and they didn't skimp at all when thinking about how to make those spaces work for them in the utmost way. Another beautiful window bringing in that natural light. Another built-in area here, just a perfect spot to display some books. When do you get that type of storage in your principal bedroom? You don't, but you're getting this built-in feel and you're getting these little built-in feels throughout this house, making it feel so custom. Check out this walk-in closet that I kind of scooted by. Another great use of space, guys. This could even be more functional should you put more things in here, but you can see there's only two people living here right now. This is where they're putting their shoes. We have drawers and stuff like that for purses. We got a spot for the Dyson, a spot for the ironing board. Just so well thought out and it doesn't feel that it intrudes at all on that bedroom. More than enough space to be the only closet to this room. Those big built-ins are just extra. If you don't want them, get rid of them, open up that space. Otherwise, you got all the room you need right here. Now what would be the perfect complement to a principal bedroom like this? How about a massive spa-like bathroom that's gonna blow your mind? Let's see it. Xanadu, I love this bathroom for so many reasons, guys. It feels very expensive and very classy in here, like I'm in a hotel. Who doesn't wanna soak in this big, beautiful soaker standalone tub? 
huge vanity in here. You could have double sinks, but man, does this give you all the storage you need. And of course, these mirrored cabinets open up and there's even more storage behind here. Big custom shower stall in here, one by two tiles, really complementing the floor. We've got a lighter feel here in the shower, allowing it to kind of shimmer and glow, and yet this kind of slate feel to the one by two modern tile here and a really nice brick pattern. And I love how that flows into this kind of ornate jewelry piece that surrounds this tub. We'll get an insert there where you can see the detail that's been put into this bathroom. Now, what's the secret? We have laundry in this house downstairs and it works perfectly. It's a great little dry basement of old downtown Dundas feels, but what do we got right here behind door number one? We have a spot for a stacker, washer and dryer ready to go for you so that this can be true one level living. Let's check this out. So right now being used as a pantry, but you can see there's a hole up here for the vent so that our hot air can go up and it's all plumbed in here perfectly so that we can get our washer and dryer in here. Put that stacker in here, tons of room for baskets and other things to store in this bathroom. Certainly you could fill up those warm sheets and towels and take them into the principal bedroom or that big beautiful living room and do some folding while you watch your favorite show. Love this bathroom, love the utility of having that laundry space there. Now, let's see these other two bedrooms. How gorgeous and rich is this bedroom? Two beautiful windows with that gorgeous cross light. I can imagine being here with the breeze from this fan. There's a large closet in here. Sitting on my big bed, this is a queen, but certainly you could get a king in here if that's what you're after. Love that there's space for a desk. This is a beautiful kind of piece of furniture, showing you though the utility of a room like this. Certainly this could be an office and a guest room. Now we have a set up office here that's our third bedroom, but heck, I don't wanna tell you where you're gonna get the work done. You're gonna choose where you're gonna work for yourself. Beautiful, rich flooring in here as well, guys. And just tons of room to kind of show off and have these display cabinets. And you'll see there's pieces of art throughout this house. You wanna show off stuff in this house because this house is all about intimacy, getting up close, feeling the texture, seeing the paint lines, and enjoying life in the moment. Love it. Big closet here behind the door. All of these bedrooms have great closet space. And there's a fair amount of storage in this home, that's for sure. Let's check out bedroom number three. So right now you can see this is kind of being used as a workspace, but I envision that this could be the guest room or this could be that third kid's room. We got room for working in here, put in a pull out bed. We got a big closet in here. In fact, at one time there was two closets in here. And I love this detail. This kind of built-in desk area so that your bed is not gonna intrude on your desk. You could put a queen in here, no problem, maybe a side table, and then you'd have this workspace all built in, fully functional, kind of out of the way, as an extra kind of making the room, kind of forming the focal point, if you will. Love this use of space, love this shelf up here, and I just love this closet, because this closet is cedar lined. Ooh wee Check that out, Mr. Cameraman. Cedar lining is an upgrade, guys. If you ever had the money to cedar line your closets, it's something you do. It just keeps those closets so fresh and gives them a great smell. I just love opening this door every time I'm in the house. Love this bedroom, guys. Now, let's go downstairs and check out this basement. If I wasn't gonna brag even more, look at the use of space here. Look at the customization. Beautiful kind of paneling, giving it that seaside downtown, old fashioned feel, but with all this utility, this is just such a lovely cottagey feel, all new and painted out. Big picture window in here. Of course I wanna come in here and get a bottle of wine and start the night, or even maybe a Coors Light. Whatever you drink, this is the spot to store it and you're gonna feel good running in here when you have guests to get some of those extras. What a lovely spot to have some extra storage and utility in the home. This is just the hallway going down the stairs. Guys, let's go down. So these Dundas homes, these downtown Dundas homes, guys, they're turn of the century. They're 100 years plus, some of them. What you got here is this beautiful and really good shape Fieldstone foundation, and it's high and dry down here, guys. 
not feeling the mustiness. We got some really expensive stuff stored down here and that's a good tip. If the sellers are willing to store paintings and belongings and things that can get wet and get damaged, why would they ever put that in a basement like this if it wasn't ready to go? And this basement is certainly ready to go. Look how pristine it is. This really reflects wonderfully on these sellers. They take care of everything with pride and hard work and you just can feel it even here in the basement. This is our laundry setup. Got kind of a built-in workbench here. This whole floor is nice and clean. You can eat off this floor down here. You'll see that when you come in. Double basin laundry sinks. Newer furnace and AC, like I mentioned before, our dryer over here, hot water tank, and our panel. Everything is easy to access. You can come down here and get your hands on all your services. It's not gonna be hard for a service person to be down here working to make sure your house is keeping nice, warm, dry, and cool, however you like it. This basement is gonna work for you. Okay, now enough about basements, guys. Let me take you outside and show you the rest of this living space. You're gonna love this yard, heck, you're gonna go crazy for it. Let's go. Now, like I said, these owners are artists and this yard really is their masterpiece. Check it out. Even as we're about to enter the yard, you can feel these gates welcoming you. This is the type of yard that speaks to so many of us because it's so special, so warm and so inviting. And it's a yard. Check it out. This is what's been described to me as the second home, the summer home out here. As you can see, we have different defined living spaces throughout this garden, certain pathways, different flower beds, all kind of being their own way and yet all working together so well. Here, a beautiful raised sitting area, just so you can sit and gaze at your house and look up into the big, beautiful Dundas sky, all private, all surrounded with these gorgeous fences. Here, a little herb garden raised. What a great spot to have this to come out just before guests come. Pick that piece of basil, get that piece of rosemary. And of course, after you're done making that meal, you bring your big platter. You have your family style meal right here under the stars, under candlelight. Heck, if it's during the day, you got this big spot for an umbrella where you can be in the shade and have that breeze. But you can see this defined space working. You're seeing into the house, you can see into the kitchen, and there's this flow going back and forth visually and almost spiritually to this property. This is our outdoor living room. Gang, bring your blankets, sit outside, tell stories. You could get one of those fire pits out here. In the summer, of course, you don't need a fire pit. You'll just sit out and enjoy the stars and enjoy that summer heat, and you get some great summer heat. I can tell you, no matter where I go in the world, I can always hear the crickets and the cicadas downtown Dundas at maybe midnight on a hot summer night. There's no sound like it. It's the most beautiful, cooling, soothing sound you've ever heard, and it's just so specific to this area. And man, you got first row seats to it if you buy this property. Let's see more. Stepping down into our rain cover area here, this canopy pulls across, and this is where you can sit outside if there's a little drizzle and you wanna stay warm and dry, but well, you got it here. Love this bit of division here, and what I love about this backyard is it's just so open. It's, it's just so private, and at the same way, you can just feel the breeze blowing through this with zero confinement. Your friend can stumble in and have a night with you and stumble back out, and there's no confinement to this yard. It's like its own little park, its own little house, its own little kind of cozy place right here downtown Dundas. And of course, there's utility to this space as well. We have these gardens, we have these vegetable gardens, we also have these storage sheds. One and two. And this is where we can hide all those tools that it takes to keep a property like this so beautiful, but they're out of the way, so you can close the gate, put the lock on, and not think about it until tomorrow. Now, it's time for a glass of wine. Okay guys, you've seen the yard. Now let's go out the side here and talk a little bit more about why this location is just so special. Let's go. So Dundas guys, there's something so special about it. And I'm not just saying that because this is where I was born and this is where all my memories began. I'm saying it because there's something very true and authentic about downtown Dundas, something that you can't find anywhere else in Southern Ontario. A walkability to parks, conservation, and yet this metropolitan feel where you can walk downtown, shop, go to restaurants, go to a butcher shop, go to a unique variety of cultures right here 
all within walking distance inside of a valley town, kind of encapsulating the perfect lifestyle. So whether you're a family or you're a downsizer, this location, this property has everything you're after. And honestly, it is so authentically wonderful. I know you're seeing it in these drone shots. You're seeing it in the shots of the street. You're seeing it in the colors of fall. You're hearing it in that dog's bark. It is all here at 230 Melville. You gotta check it out. For now, I gotta go pick up my son. So I'm gonna have to invite you guys to, well get the heck out of here.